Hey guys, it's Benny Penguin 64 some more Pokemon Diamond. Uh, oh, okay, I've been stopped. I was about to talk for a moment, but anyway. Please, can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Windworks. Ah, oh, I was right. There are some uh, important story elements up here. Uh, there we have two Team Galactic guys, and it doesn't take a genius to work out that they're not going to let us pass. But anyway, Valley Windworks. Uh, got an item right here. That is a potion. That's quite nice. Uh, as I recall, if you come here on a Friday, I believe, uh, you can actually catch uh, Drifloon here, and I think that's the only way that you can possibly catch it. I could be mistaken, but for some reason, I seem to uh, I seem to have Drifloon and Friday stuck in my head when I think of this area. And when I say Friday, I mean the day, not the song, because I hate that song and I want it out of my head. Oh god. Anyway, you're giving me a look that makes me think you're going to try to get in. Okay then, you'll have to battle me for it. Oh, we've got some uh, pretty... Uh, well, I'm not going to say scary music. Let's say intense. Um, let's see, Glammeow. That's a new Pokemon. Uh, that's a normal type, as I, uh, that's a normal type, as I recall. Actually, no, I think it's normal dark. So, uh, it's like a vampire skit. Well, it's not a vampire, because... Um, Dracula is not a Pokemon type, although I kind of wish it would be. That would be like the best Pokemon ever. Uh, besides Mewtwo, obviously. Actually, isn't... I don't know. I don't know. Mewtwo's cool. I like... Oh, wow. Flashlight. That was terrible. Um, okay. Uh, Flashlight's attack stat is not going to cut it. Um, so, you know what? You're sharing XP with your quote-unquote brother Flappers. Um, because hopefully Flappers is going to be a bit more powerful in terms of attack stat. And, uh, let's see. Quick attack or let's go with wing attack. Let's, let's see how this works out. Oh. Yeah, see that? That is what I'm talking about. You see that flashlight? That's what I want you to replicate. Now, hopefully you'll have, uh, fixed that issue the next time we get to a gym or at least something of remote importance. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, Glamiao fainted. So that battle uh, was really easy. And Oh, level 12. I didn't even notice. I didn't notice how close it was to a level. Grew to level 13. Very, very nice. Double team. This move was the bane of my existence when I was younger. I'm wondering whether I should learn it. Um, well, I was going to get rid of Growl anyway, so you know what? I'm going to be a douche nugget and I'm going to get rid of Growl for Double Team. Basically, Double Team improves your evasiveness. And if you keep using Double Team loads of times, then there is about a one in a million chance that the enemy Pokemon will be able to hit you. It is the most over... Well, I wouldn't say overpowered. Let's just say the... I don't know what to say. All I can say is Double Team really got on my nerves when I was younger. Everyone just kept using Double Team and I was like, I don't want to play this game anymore. Screw you and your evasive crap. I don't know. Anyway, Cohorts in the Flower Patch. Oh, I know who they are. Uh, let's see, he's going in there. So apparently we need a works here. I wasn't necessarily uh, reading that, but... Uh, Anyway, uh, after that, um, I wouldn't call it a rant, let's just say angry, uh, weakly angry uh, sentence regarding double team. Anyway, enough arguing, hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say, Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do? <gasps> a witness! Nah. We don't need the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We ensure the brat stays quiet. And here we have another double battle. Okay, hopefully now this is going to be uh, a bit more entertaining than the last one because... Oh, no, wait. Silly me, it's one-on-one, -on -one, not double battle. Yeah, see that? Got my hopes up for nothing. Uh, level 9 versus level 12. Hopefully Flashlight can do a bit better this time. I really wish he was cutting defense rather than attack because simply put that is uh, okay you missed that's that's a great start flashlight you're uh, 
you're a true credit to the team and at least Wormpool is doing really crappy or at least he did that time it, it's about the same um yeah not too fussed with flashlights uh, attacking at the moment uh, oh, uh, I'm sure that's going to change once he gets some electric moves because you know uh, electric type plus electric move equals match made in heaven well actually it's not a match made in heaven it's it's more of an inevitability you know match matches made in heaven those can be uh, down to luck but no inevitability is uh, not the same as luck I don't know what I'm saying anymore but either way Wormpool's going down uh, really would have liked Flashlight to do a bit better in terms of attack stat but you know what uh, I'm not going to um, uh, I'm not going to act angrily towards a ba wait a minute um, can this thing attack in any way shape or form I'm hoping not because that'll make this uh, a cakewalk and I think I'm using that phrase a bit too often okay well it knows Harden yeah whenever you encounter a wild silcoon, cascoon any kind of cocoon based Pokemon all it knows is Harden and that makes the uh, battle really easy okay this is not one of those cases because it does no tackle uh, but flashlights actually doing a lot better uh, this time around so that's very nice and with that it goes down, lovely. Oh, is he getting a level out of this? Yes! Okay, so Flashlight and Flappers are now the same level. Uh, Learned Bite, that is what I'm talking about. We got a new uh, attacking move and I wasn't satisfied with Charge because that doesn't hurt people. Anyway, this is so lame. We shouldn't kill each other cause it'll be lame. I don't know how many of you guys will get that reference. Actually, I'm not even sure if I pronounced it right. Well, not pronounced, I actually recognised the line in question. Because, you know, might have gotten a word or two wrong. But anyway, enough talking about what might have been in terms of executing a reference. Well, uh, let's see. Flashlight or flappers? Um, I kind of feel like sending flappers out now because, I don't know. Um, you know what, let's, let's test bite and see how it works. I can't remember, but I think Zubat is a dark type. It's poison type. I know that. Wait. Actually, no. It's. I don't know. Oh, well, that did half of his uh, health in, so. Uh, that's actually quite nice. Uh, in which case, uh, Bite could be uh, very useful in the long run. Come on. Gotcha. See this flashlight? This is what I was hoping for. And to be fair, that was a critical hit, but I don't care. You finished him uh, really easily, and that's what I was hoping for. And that done. If only I had some decent Pokemon. This brat's tough. Like, really, really tough. Really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words. And I know a lot of words. We're done for here. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works cave. That's exactly what we were looking for. Thank you very much. Anyway, that's the works key. We're going to use that to enter the Valley Windworks. Oh, hang on. These go <clears throat> Sorry. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. You say how they were. You saw how they were dressed, rather. What they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. Will you take this as my thanks? Obtain the honey. Uh, you can actually use these. Uh, use this on trees to actually uh, attract Pokémon. Uh, let's see. As I recall, there's a tree we can test it out here. Oh, this is it. Uh, I think it's these yellow trees only. Uh, there's a ramp up there, so no going up there, which, uh, I don't know, looks quite nice up there. But uh, anyway, um, nothing really of interest there. Yeah, those TVs are flashing, but I don't feel like them. There's a sweet scent in the air. Slather the bark with honey. I'll try it. Yeah, this is actually a, a way for you to catch Munchlax, I believe. Uh, oh, wait, we need more honey. Damn it. Uh, I'm gonna try some more, uh, just to show it. Sorry about that, my camera actually stopped recording and I have no idea where that left off. Um, hopefully you didn't miss anything too important. Uh, I don't know, um, 
Uh, well, either way, as I was saying, I didn't pay attention to when it cut off, but anyway, uh, as I was saying before, which you may or may not have seen, gonna slather some honey on this tree. Hopefully, it'll make a wild Pokemon appear. It didn't do it. Uh, and you can actually obtain Munchlax by doing this, uh, as I recall, but it happens very rarely. And wait a minute. Oh, you moron! You absolute moron. As I recall, you need to slather it with honey and then go somewhere else and then come back later and then it will be shaking. Yeah, that... Wait. Does it work instantaneously or... No. Um, I think you need to come back and do that after quite a while, actually. Oh, boy. You absolute piece of... Waste. I don't know. But yeah, as I recall, you actually need to. I, no, it doesn't work on green trees. As I recall, you actually need to. Oh, there's another one here. You actually need to slather it with honey, then come back later. That's how it works, as far as I can remember. So yeah, turns out I'm just an idiot. Yeah. Anyway, it's locked from inside. Use the works key. Thank you very much. And with that, we can enter uh, this place. What? No way, you have the key. Locking the door is meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. So anyway, here we have some more Team Galactic grunts. Uh, I think I'll keep these battles in because, you know, Team Galactic are important to the story. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'll keep these in for now. Anyway, challenged by Galactic Grunt, sent out Cascoon. Uh, not sure if, uh, well, if the last battle was any indication, then this one will have, uh, uh, an attack move as opposed to just harden, but I don't know. Uh, well, either way, let's see how this goes. Uh, that did, uh, not quite half, but, uh, oh, made him flinch, that's lovely. But yeah, that was actually, uh, quite good. Looks like Flashlight has, uh, actually picked up in, uh, uh, in regard to attacking, which I was actually hoping he would do, because now he's doing a lot more damage than I thought he would. You know, last time it was just uh, chipping away at people, but you know, bite is clearly a lot more effective than tackle, which is uh, very nice. 169, that's lovely. Oh, I didn't quite get a level from that. You messed up my job. Now I'm not going to get a bonus. Yeah, it's all about the money, isn't it? Uh, let's see, here we have another one. Uh, looks like he's optional. Uh, someone very important looking over there, but first I'm going to fight this guy just for the sake of it. Collecting electricity from the Valley Windwards. That's our mission. Do, 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 the epic battle theme that I don't know the rhythm of. Anyway, sent out Wormpool. Um, I'm thinking that I should use Flappers for this, just because he can get the job done in one hit, I, uh, believe. Well, I have reason to believe it. Uh, let's see. You know what? Yeah, just for the sake of getting Flappers some more XP, and, uh, Flappers is, uh, down to half health. Actually, maybe more than that, or less than that, rather, but... Um, yeah, this shouldn't be too challenging. Yeah, see, Wormpool is really not that effective at uh, hurting people. Uh, come on, one hit, one hit, one hit. That is what I'm talking about. Flappers, you're a star. And with that, Wormpool goes down. Flash that gained 57, which got him a level. Very, very nice. Uh, 57 XP is not going to get you a level, but uh, every little helps. Uh, now I'll keep Flappers out for now. Actually, no, this could be a mistake. Uh, you know what? I'll just roll with it and hope for the best. Uh, fake out, as I recall, that move never misses the first time. Oh, no, 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 no. That is a bad thing. That is a bad thing. Uh, shoot. Um, uh, come on, Flappers, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, hang in there, buddy. Hang in, hang in, hang in. Well, there goes Flappers. Uh, looks like it's up to Flashlight after all. I was really hoping that Flappers could stay in there for a bit longer, but... Uh, ah, well, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, uh, got some intimidation going on there, and... Bite 
could uh, finish the job, but to be fair, Glamiao is uh, a dark type as far as I can remember, so you never know, might resist it. Oh, almost, almost got the thing. Uh, well, one more hit will definitely do it, uh, assuming he actually hits this round. Uh, this round, this turn rather. Yep, uh, that's definitely done the job. But that Glamiao faints, flashlight gained 151 and did not gain a level. But yeah, XP is uh, definitely uh, not as plentiful. Well, it's more plentiful, but it's not making as big an impact as it used to, rather. Uh, let's see. I've got two minutes of recording time left on my camera. But uh, you know what? Um, I think I would be able to do this battle in that time. But you know what? Since this person looks really important. I'm going to give them special treatment in a sense, and I'm going to save this battle for the next episode. So next time on Pokemon Diamond, we will be fighting that red-haired mysterious figure. See you guys next time.